Hi guys, we will be looking at the gas exchange in the lungs. You need to be able to describe the essential features of ex uh, exchange surfaces and explain how gases are exchanged in the alveoli of humans. So in, in terms of the specification, okay, we are uh, still looking at the, uh, at the alveoli, we're looking at the gas exchange and we will be looking at the adaptations. So first question here, We've got the graph that shows how pulmonary, pulmonary is something to do with the lungs, ventilation changes during a period of exercise. So we've got the pulmonary ventilation here, okay, the rate, because, uh, and we've got a time. So question says that after four minutes of exercise, the breathing rate uh, was 20 breaths per minute, and explain how you could use this information and the graph to calculate the, the tidal volume. So that's one of the parts of the specification that we look at in our previous uh, video. So we would find the pulmonary ventilation from the graph. It's um, uh, so uh, it's between uh, 26 to 28. Okay, according to uh, to our graph, and divide this by breathing rate, which is twenty, because it says there were twenty breaths per minute, so that's your breathing rate twenty, and uh, we were looking at time four minutes, so this is what four minutes is, so we're going up right up to this point here, and that reads between twenty six to twenty eight for the pulmonary ventilation. Okay, so essential features uh, of gas uh, of exchange surfaces. So everything what we were looking at uh, so far in section three. So the large surface area to the volume ratio to speed up the rate of exchange. They are very thin, so keep the short diffusion pathway. They are partially permeable, so allowing selected materials to diffuse, so carbon dioxide, oxygen. And this is movement of the internal medium, which is blood, to maintain a diffusion gradient. Right, so how does actually uh, this take place? So starting point is the trachea, bronchi, bronchios. The air is moving down pressure gradient, so diffusion uh, take place down diffusion gradient across alveoli, epithelium, across a capillary epithelium. Right, so the pathway, okay, uh, taken by oxygen molecule from an alveoli to the blood, it's taken by, we've seen that before, across alveoli epithelium to epithelium of capillary. How do we know it? Okay, so this is the past paper question that shows you A and B. And uh, how do we know it? So where is the uh, epithelium, right? So we can have a look, right? This is your epithelium. So the uh, the type of the cell that make in the alveoli, same, we've got it in the uh, blood vessels, right? So one more picture here to show you how the alveoli and uh, blood capillaries are arranged around to provide the efficient gas exchange. So. Okay, uh, we will be looking now at the adaptations in our so what table. So, feature of the lungs, many alveoli with folded walls, so provide large surface, many capillaries, so provide a large surface, many capillaries, so fast diffusion, alveoli and capillary are thin, so short uh, diffusion pathway, flatten epithelium, so short diffusion pathway, fast diffusion, Ventilation maintains a concentration gradient for fast diffusion. So have a look. All those functions are more or less the same, all based on the surface area and the diffusion and concentration gradient. Just make sure that you remember the features. You can use them for many questions, for five markers, for suggest markers, for explain why markers. Right, few questions. Name the process by which oxygen passes from uh, alveoli into the lungs. Okay, in the lungs, sorry, into the blood, cause diffusion, simple diffusion, and describe two adaptations of the structure of alveoli. So look back at the table that you just wrote down for efficient gas exchange. Could be any of those. So thin walls, so short diffusion uh, pathway, okay, thin walls. 
if you just write down in this question short diffusion pathway it's not good enough because they're asking for the adaptations describe adaptations not describe and explain if the question was describe and explain then you would say thin walls for description explanation short diffusion pathway so thin walls okay and they have a total uh, uh, large surface area right another question a large number of small alveoli is more efficient in gas exchange than a smaller number of larger alveoli. Explain why. So again, you refer to your table. Why is it an adaptation for the simple fact that they provide a large surface area for fast diffusion? Right. Another question. The difference in the composition of gases in inhalation and exhalation are different. Why? Okay, so what we've got that, of course, when you breathe in, uh, the uh, air will contain more oxygen than the, uh, exhale, uh, the, the, the air that you're breathing out. The uh, breathing in air contains less carbon dioxide than the one that you're breathing out because, of course, when you're breathing out, you're breathing out the products of respiration. The inhaled air contains less uh, water vapor. Again, water is the product of respiration. So, of course, when you're breathing in, it's going to be less. It's before respiration. So, there is a relative amount of nitrogen uh, also changes. Uh, respiration results in lower blood oxygen and higher uh, blood carbon uh, dioxide. So, of course, this is the product of um, uh, respiration carbon dioxide is the product so gonna be high oxygen is one of the substrates that we need for respiration to take place so it will be lower than and oxygen enters blood and carbon dioxide leaves blood in alveoli by diffusion we know that and number seven the water vapor diffuses from moist surface so water again it's a product of respiration right last question the graph shows uh, airflow into and out of the lungs uh, during a normal brief. Okay, normal brief. And we can see the pattern here, inspiration, expiration. So airflow increases, then decreases. Okay, uh, and uh, explain how will the concentration of carbon dioxide in the airflow differ at times A and times B. Okay, so you can see from the from the graph that there will be less at A, more at point B. Okay. Um, next question is asking you to describe the role of diffusion in producing this difference. Okay, so diffusion, of course, we're talking about the carbon dioxide here, and uh, what is the diffusion from higher concentration in the blood to lower concentration in the alveoli. Next, the intercostal uh, muscles are between the ribs. In normal breathing, describe the part played by uh, the intercostal muscles. And they're asking for inspiration, so breathing in. So refer to our notes from previous video, what happens to those muscles, okay? And the answer here will be that, of course, the in the breathing in, the external intercostal muscles contract the ribs, uh, move upwards and that will increase the volume so decrease the pressure right so that's everything for today thank you see you soon